Hey everybody, this is Roy Bandari, and today we are at Downsview Park for the <laughs> launch of uh, Westline Condominiums, and I'm joined once again uh, by, with, by Jason Lamb, uh, Senior VP at Centre Court Developments, uh, one of our favourite developers to work with. Uh, we've been working with them for the last 10 years, so we're really, really fortunate to be, uh, to be with Jason today. So, Jason, thank you very much for your time. Always a pleasure, Roy. I'm glad. I, I'm excited to talk about Westline with you. Awesome. Um, before we start Westline, let's... Uh, remind everybody about the Centre Court story. Yeah. Um, one of the top builders in the city, if not the top builders in the city. Uh, give us a quick rundown of, of Centre Court, um, some recent successes. Uh, I know we've had a lot, uh, we've worked together a lot recently, so just give us a 60 seconds on Centre Court. Well, 11 years in the business, we've got 19 you know, high-rise communities in the marketplace, over 9,500 suites. In the last two years, we've brought, uh, you know, this is our fifth site throughout the pandemic that we've launched, and that's, that just shows our confidence in the marketplace pandemic or no pandemic, uh, zero days of interim occupancy, zero uh, canceled projects, average of 16 days to get to 75% sold. So obviously the market really likes what we do. And what drives our business is the fact that we're able to execute, right? Vertical integration is key, but our sites speak for themselves, right? Look at our portfolio. Every single site that we touch is all around transit, institutions, infrastructure, exciting things, you know, location, location, location. We hit it out of the park every time, and Westline really doesn't, you know, doesn't deviate from that plan, right? Why would we look at a site like this and bring it to market? Because the potential and the infrastructure is like something we've never seen. I love the word potential. Um, Westline is really unique, and a lot of the projects that Centre Court do are downtown. Um, when you guys go out of downtown, it is for something very, very special. That's right. Um, so, you guys must look at hundreds of projects every year. Hundreds. So, hundreds to, to narrow sites. down on the sites that you ultimately purchase and bring to market, yeah. um, there has to be something to be said there. So, I want to talk about Westline. I want to talk about Downsview because I think Downsview is an incredible story that um, I think is waiting to be told um, over and over and over again. Uh, so give us the very, very sort of top level um, information about Downsview and, and why you guys are so excited about this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you, you said it best, you know, we, we, we wouldn't deviate from what's our bread and butter, you know, this is, the potential here is, is again, astronomical. There's so much happening here. So, you know, five things that we love about, you know, this Westline project. The first is the future is Downsview. Yeah. The, the amount of land that's there, that's ready, that's to be cultivated and to turn into a real city, not just a couple of condominium buildings. We're really transforming, creating employment uh, opportunities, roads, communities, schools, parks, uh, you know, integrating public transportation, retail, true mixed use. This is gonna redefine uh, how we view real estate in the marketplace. It's gonna shift the gravity to, you know, sort of this, this area within the 416. That's number one, it's the future, and it's gonna happen no matter what, with or with, it's inevitable. So it's a huge, beautiful canvas. The second is why? Why is it going through that, this transformation today and why are we gonna see big transformations in the future? Is because of the infrastructure uh, that is uh, public transportation, right? We love transit, your buyers love transit. Five minute walk to Shepherd Subway. Uh, we're a 50 minute walk to Downsview Go. So now we've got two yeah. major transportation lines that very few sites have. Uh, you can go any which way. You've got opportunities, right? In this, in, in our life, it's all about opportunities. Where can I work? You know, how long is it going to take me to get there? I can hop in a car and jump on Allen Road in 401. So that connectivity, that's where you want to build a city out of, right? That, that's where the city's saying, look, it makes sense. Tons of land. You've got the big three, subway, go, and highway, and roads. Yeah. But then you also have Downsview Park. 291 acres, you're not gonna find this downtown again. What are they gonna do if you find this downtown? Redevelop it, <laughs> yep. right? You'll turn never get that, yeah, they're gonna turn to condos. And the parks that do exist in the downtown market, real estate is so expensive. These are sought after amenities. So to, to you know, this isn't just some grass and trees. This is a huge, expansive, inclusive, dynamic green space that's not going anywhere. You know, pair that with, you know, the employment, the, the futures of Northcrest, and what they want to do, they want to bring, uh, you know, 40,000 residents. They want to do 25,000 new jobs. Like, this is uh, all-encompassing. And these things don't happen overnight, but we've seen it before. We've seen what it's like to invest at the beginning, the foot of a master yeah. plan. VMC, Square One, uh, you know, Regent Park, uh, City Place, Downtown Markham. This is no different. The only thing is that this is just way bigger than any of that stuff. Let's talk about size for a second. Yeah. Um, the scope of this master plan, uh, you know, uh, just referring back to some of the master plans were, you, that you already mentioned, 
Regent Park is 69 acres. Um, City Place was around 100 acres. 40, 40 45 acres. Yeah, sorry. Um, uh, the VMC is made up of 400 acres. Well, That's right. 400 acres. Mm -hmm. How big is this in compared to those? So, if you look at the, the entire master plan, all the moving parts, it's a thousand acres. That's 15 region parks. Yeah, that's right. Huge. You know, it's huge. A thousand acres is, if you look at downtown, Spadina to Young from Bloor to Front. Think about how many condominium buildings are in that space, how many office towers, how many hospitals, how many yeah. universities, you know, how many retail shops. Like, think about how many su subway stops are in that space. Like, it, it is a city. We're not talking about building a city block, a couple of buildings. Like, this is going to redefine the real estate market in the GTA. And, and, and I think it's important for people to understand, like, these things don't happen overnight. Just yeah. like Transit City didn't happen overnight. Just like Mississauga Square One didn't happen overnight. These things take time. But anyone that came in at the beginning is laughing. And I think, you know, the people behind this, the city, you got full buy-in. So it's going to happen. Center Court wouldn't acquire this. We wouldn't get involved if we didn't believe in this story. We didn't believe in the future of Downsview. This is one of those situations where you can wake up in 10 years and say, and you said this in the, in the last time we sat and chat, you can wake up in 10 years and say, where did all this come from? How did this happen? How it did happens this all the time. It yeah. happens in one year. Yeah, and we're telling you now year. that this stuff is going to happen. It's going to happen. Gonna happen. And Absolutely. The Bombardier lands are, are, are going to see a massive change. They're already approving, um, you know, employment projects. So, you know, they just approved a 2 million square foot facility for film and television. And that's like four or 5,000 jobs. Like, yeah. that's happening in real time. Look at all the projects that came online over the last three to five years, right? They're all under construction. They're gonna add to the fabric of the neighborhood. We're coming in as well at, at, the, at the foot of this project, literally across the street from, you know, this massive master plan right off of Downsview Park. Like, there's nothing, there's no box that this site doesn't check. And if you have the right long-term outlook, you're gonna do great at Westline. So let's talk about the boxes that it checks. AAA developer. Yeah. You've got a master plan. Master plan, you know, those two things alone get our investors excited. So you've got a AAA developer, you've got a master plan. Then you've got transit. We already talked about your steps to uh, TTC West. and the go, which yeah. gets you to Union Station in one stop. One stop. In one stop, you can get from Downsview to Union Station. Like that's, I don't think anyone really understands or knows the, what that means, right? Like, but I think as a resident of Westline, is to say I can wake up and I can really, now I have these two arteries yeah. that can take me so far, you know? And I think that's important for the future of Toronto as we continue to grow, cost of living is going up, the pressure and the priority of public transportation will be at the top of this. If it's not there today, it's good, it, you yeah. know, it's pretty much there. For sure. Um, we talked about employment and elite institutions. We didn't even touch on the schools and the universities. We didn't. Um, which is... Yorkdale Mall. Yeah, Yorkdale Mall. There's, it's connected to so many of the names that we, that, that we know and that's sort of why we're really excited about uh, Westline. So, talking about the building itself. Uh, give us sort of high level, uh, how many floors, how many units. So let's look, look, look at the building. We, we're bringing a 14 story building that houses 424 opportunities. We understand the marketplace here. It's not yeah. your downtown marketplace. We want bigger units. We want to, uh, spaces we can grow into. Yeah. Um, you know, the area calls for, uh, you know, people that are prioritizing outdoor space. So the amenities are big, you know, as if Downsview isn't enough, as if, uh, you know, Yorkdale is not close enough and, and, and all that stuff. Uh, and the subway, internally in our building, it's about amenities, right? So we've got 24-hour fitness facility, a rooftop terrace, indoor and outdoor space. We've got, uh, we've got a children's playroom with an outdoor playground. We've got a dog grooming station area. Um, again, uh, places for lounging, barbecues, all of that. So, you know, we put together the right package that meets this community. You know what I mean? And I think when you, when you tie this all together, put all the pieces that, you know, the, the puzzle, this makes sense and we're really excited about this, this building. I love it. Just to wrap things up, we got a AAA builder, we got a, a site with enormous potential, um, part of a, a huge master plan uh, development uh, up to a thousand acres, which yeah. is just in, a, a huge amount of land to, to comprehend. Um, we are uh, stepped to elite employment, uh, sorry, uh, connected to elite employment, uh, downtown by one go, uh, go station, um, schools, institutions, like there's so much to love here. So uh, Jason, we're really excited about Westline. Um, if our investors are uh, interested, what, what do they have to do? It's very easy. You're gonna, you're <laughs> gonna connect with Roy and Ammon and the team at Talk Condo, uh, and you're gonna learn more about this opportunity, right? You're gonna learn about why they're excited, why I'm excited, but ultimately you're gonna learn about the developer brand. 
right? These are the things that a lot of people don't talk about is, is the trusted developer that's behind all of this, that stands behind our projects. Uh, and you're going to learn more and you're going to have first access, the first opportunity to invest in a massive redevelopment. And that's where you do very well. So, you know, that's the answer. We're going we're gonna to contact Talk Condo. Thank you very much, Jason. Thank you, guys.